Brisket. Look at it. Beautiful. It's a very tough cut of meat, so it needs to be cooked slowly, so it gets really nice and tender. So, mustard powder. OK. Here, we have some celery seed. Next, a little bit of salt in there. OK. What's this here? Cumin. Two again. Nice. Good. Now, this one. Cayenne pepper. Yeah, absolutely right. Right, two teaspoons of that in there as well. Good. Now, what I want you to do... Fresh pepper on there. I'll give that a little mix. And then I want you to rub all that spice into the brisket. Now, that's nice and coated, OK, in the spice. So, gas on, roasting tray on. What we've got to do now with all those spices is sear them in. A couple of tablespoons of olive oil into the tray. And you get your brisket and all that spice. Play that in there nicely. As you start to sear in, we've got the colour Look, on the brisket. OK? Yeah. Take that out, literally for 30 seconds. OK? Onions into the tray, please. Nice. You see, it's starting to smell slightly barbecuey already. Give that a little stir. Nice. Now, one nice tablespoon of brown sugar. What does the brown sugar do, Dad? So the brown sugar is going to start caramelising the onions. Right, from there, my bay leaves in, please. Good girl. Oh. Yes, please. A tablespoon of tomato puree. Roast that off at the bottom of the tray. You really rub it in amongst the onions. Good girl. OK, one bottle of beer in, please. So you go in. You put yours in there. I'll put mine here. Dad! Uh, good health to you and your brisket. OK, now, this is where it gets really exciting. I want you to lift the brisket up and put it on top of the onions. In she goes. Good girl. And then, and I want you to pour the stock all the way around, please. I'm using beef stock, but it will work with chicken stock or even vegetable stock. Once the stock has come to the boil, cover tightly with foil. And just pinch in the ends. Flatten that down, and then you just twist all the way. So that's nice and tight. That's the hard work done. Thank Boom. you. Simply pop it in the oven for three and a half hours, and as it cooks, you can get on with the side dishes. See that smell? Just sort of travels everywhere. Oh. oh. Now, I'm going to very carefully lift out my brisket. How come has it shrunk? It's been in the oven for nearly three and a half hours. I'm going to start slicing it and we'll see how soft. Mmm. Look at that. And here's the thing about helping Daddy cook. Here's the perk. You get to taste it first before anybody. That is so good. That tastes delicious. So you've got all that wonderful flavour in there. Last job is to create an incredibly quick and delicious sauce. Gas on and reduce the spicy juices and onions the beef cooked in. Then add in cider vinegar, and you've got a brilliant tangy barbecue sauce. Wow. That is brisket and a half. Now the rest of it can go in the gravy pot. I've got the brisket. Wow. 